Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm Burner. Hello? I need to come up with a better intro. Hi. <laughs> and Red's joined me for Stardew Valley. Uh, I think I mentioned this in my Sam and Max video, but a lot of, a lot of, a lot of the videos I did before were pretty crappy, so I'm starting over again with my new equipment. My new snowball mic. And my second monitor, which I can't show you guys, or else I'll rip out the wall. Alright, let's start. Uh, hold on, let me uh, adjust the game volume so I can hear Red. Uh, and all I know about this game is I watched Markiplier play for like five minutes, and I watched the Zero Punctuation review. All you really need to know is it's not, uh, Harvest Moon. So what is it? Not Harvest Moon. That, that, that is a lot of stuff. This toilet paper isn't Harvest Moon. True. So isn't this. Uh, let's see, what's a good name for the farm? I think last time I called it Eggplant Farm. Um. Hmm. Huh. So let's do eggplant again. Good enough. I don't think you actually even grow eggplants in this game, though. <laughs> okay. That's your dream. One yeah. day. But wait, what's your favorite thing? What is my favorite thing? It's all you, Burner. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go the Lost Boss route. Neckos! Uh, let's see. Neckos! Neckos! Yeah, that seems dark enough. Uh, eye color. Uh, uh, I can't see. Yeah, close enough. Hair. Let's see. What is close enough to the curly mess on top of my head? Well, there's anime hair. Yeah. Hey. Long, beautiful hair, shining, flaxen, something wax in action. Alright, Emma, here it is then. Woo! It matches your overalls. Now it doesn't. I'll go back to her color. Strict black. Now it looks emo. Zero, zero, zero. Accessories? Beard? No. Mustache? No. Different mustache? No. Goatee? Need to change here so I can actually see the damn thing. That'll work. Munchops? A fuck? Munchops. Uh, beard, earrings, earrings, glasses, glasses. Yeah, those work. Alright, pants color, I'll leave the plants the same. Alright, so my name is Burner. I live on the eggplant farm that doesn't even grow eggplants. My favorite thing is Neko's. My animal preference is a cat, oddly enough. No. <laughs> I should just pick dog for the heck of it, but I want to name the cat Zool. Alright, I think that's everything. Let's okay. begin. Now you can hear my terrible voice acting. Or reading. And for my very special grandson. Cranberries! I want you to have this sealed envelope. Full of cranberries! Yes, shameless game don't trip off. No, no. Don't open it yet. Have patience. Wait, shouldn't you be voicing yourself and I'll voice grandpa? Now listen close. Well, I don't know if I'll have you all the time. You wanna go for it, go for it. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Oh wait, I'm signing the protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> I have our place going, I don't remember that. And your bright spirit will fade before the growing emptiness. I can't tell this, by the way, it's auto scroll. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. This is really a sad intro. Oh, you have yet to see the sad intro. Now oh, let Grandpa rest. Well, I've seen it fucking up, and that is the saddest intro. Joja, join us. Thrive. Work. Oh, hey, karate! Oh, terminated. Oh, that's scary. And Woody half pills. Life's better with Joja. I really hope this is a Java joke. 
And a dead guy. Oh, oh, holy crap. Man, that is an old ass computer. Come on, click exception. Fine, I'll click the envelope. Dear Burner, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Eggplant Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast of Place, Utah. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa Poopenheimer. Who was apparently psychic. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Okay, so that explains the gun in the envelope. <laughs> How he matched with this in here, I have no idea. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all throughout the day. Did you set your timer? Nope. Stardew Valley. Point five. Oh, there's a bird! There's a bird! Shoot the bird! No, the bullet must be saved for Mayor Lewis. I think the bus got a flat. Hello, you must be Burner. Who told you that? Who are you? Ah! Sorry. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right there now, tidying things up for your arrival. Don't mind the home invasion. The farm is right over here, if you follow me. You have no choice. You must follow. Holy shit, that's a lot of weeds. And rocks. How did there so many rocks get there? This is Eggplant Farm. So, we're at the eggplants. How do you pronounce sweat droplet? What's the matter? Uh, what do you think is the matter? Look at this place. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. Right. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Or you could do it for me. She's a carpenter, not a maid. And here we are, your new home. Oh, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Pelican Town? Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Right. Note to self, sleep with shotgun. If not every day that someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. <laughs> that does not make me feel any better, buddy. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Uh, that or moving to a motel down the street. It's a good house. Very rustic. Oh, why do you have quotes around rustic, Mayor Lewis? Rustic? That's one way to put it. Krusty might be a little bit more apt, though. Oh, maybe we sell uh, burgers here called the Krusty Krab. Rude! <laughs> Don't listen to her, Burner. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied, so you buy one of her house upgrades. I buy one either way. This place is crap. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you'll have to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would 
appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sure they would, you Luigi looking motherfucker. He does look Luigi ish. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect your kidney. Do you have to do it at night? Can't you do it like while I'm around to watch you make sure you aren't doing anything, anything suspicious? Give me that kidney. Well, good luck. Are you sure this isn't Harvest Moon? I don't know, I've never actually played Harvest Moon. Because it's looking a lot like Harvest Moon right now. Uh, let's see, how do I do this thing? You got your hoe. Let's see, W, A, S, D to move. Shift to run, which is a load of bullshit. Uh, no, put the rug down. Uh, wait, how do I do this again? There's a present! There we go. It went open. <laughs> oh, parsnip, parsnip seeds. seeds. And a journal entry. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Uh, Alrighty then, Mayor Weirdo. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, and use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Cultivate and harvest the parsnip. Okay. Let's watch TV. Uh, let's watch the weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. So far, you're always doing, you're already doing a lot better than me. When I read this, I was doing a George K impression. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Ah yes, a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, and children will be burning in hell. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, fuck you too, lady. Uh, living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild boars to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Ah, thank you for explaining that obvious mechanic of the game. Let's go. Wait. There's a foyer. Now there is. I'm sure my house is not burned down at all. It's a pretty secure fireplace with a chimney and all that. All right, let's get to work. Cha, 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 cha. Oh. So day one is basically just clean up the farm. Uh, actually, you can just skip this part and uh, just go talk to townspeople. But I might get to sounds like we plant the uh, parsnips. Parsnips, parsnips, run with parsnips. Run all the way to Bethlehem. Oh, run all the way to Bethlehem. I don't think I've ever actually seen a parsnip in real life. I'm gonna Google parsnips right now. Nope, I've never seen a parsnip in real life either. Huh. Let me just cut down this big tree. Maybe we'd be better off playing Starbound. Hmm. Do you own Starbound? Not yet. Because I think we can do that multiplayer. Uh, yes, actually it is, because I remember uh, RPG Mix did it with her uh, wife, Chrism. Eh, yeah, that's cool. Yes, I'm just trying to think that I actually watched one of them kill each other yet. <laughs> of course, that was some time ago. One thing about playing games with RPG Minx. Don't turn your back on her, because she will kill you for the hell of it. I think you've got enough space to plant the parsnips. I know, just grab, grab a couple more stuff so I can sell it. Alright, so where's my hoe? Here you are. I'm gonna name you Trixie. The only Harvest Moon game I've ever played. Here's a hoe. You look like a man who could use a good hoe. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
Oh, that's only four. So I need five more spots. Are you supposed to leave a space in the middle? No. Huh. I'm doing whatever the hell I want. It's money. I mean, it is your farm. And now to pointlessly water them. Boy, this is... You know, I say this is, this is exciting sarcastically, but this is exactly the kind of thing I do in Minecraft. Yeah. Which is why we need to really, really get a Minecraft playthrough off the, off the ground. Yeah. Well, hopefully get a server game. That way they can at least follow me half the time. Yeah, they, they can just follow you and occasionally me. And they'll, like, they can just come back and see all the automation and shit I've done. Like, I'm currently working on automating cobblestone in my world because I want 43 million. Any particular reason, or just so you say you have 43 million cobblestone? Bedrockium. Bedrockium? Yeah, it's added by extra utilities. It's oh. basically an ingot made out of bedrock. You can either get it with around, uh, like, 10,000 or 20,000. Hi. With oh, like I think we found 20, a Fluttershy of this world. With, like, 20,000 cobblestone and some diamonds, or you can get it with 43 million cobblestone. And I don't want to waste the diamonds, even though I have unlimited diamonds. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Not very talking to a few people are. Well, it's not like you're saying anything in response. Silent protagonist! Oh, excuses, excuses. I should name myself Link, or Dumpfuck. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Are you playing Pokemon? Does she look like that one, uh, was it, bug type gym leader? Mayor. Yeah. I'm sure someone will get that reps because she does. There's a dude! And I actually tried to ask him. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Ignore my pedo stash. Nice to- Damn it! I'm gonna swing Dex at him. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I don't molest children. Ignore the pedo stash. You know, it's very funny. I, there are actually no an artist that made a mod, so I can turn him to a little boy to make that joke even funnier. So, are you gonna do home invasions? Dog. Yes, but you can't get to the dog. Uh, just wanna see who's outside first. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I think they said there were 28 people in this town. Ah. Come on, I wanna pull a Jack Nicholson! Damn it. Uh, oh, hello, people. Huh. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Yep, you said it, George. Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny, if you like. I'll call you Gran Gran. I'm away, Gran Gran. Oh, wait. Uh, You're not good enough friends with Evelyn or George to enter their bedroom. So they hey, share you this. Gay with George? Huh? You can get gay with George? No, just say to raise their relationship. Now let's see this. They get this tiny ass room. Look at this. What? Wow. The door's wide open. Let me in, you son of a bitch. Fine. Also, time flies quite quickly. We started this at 7 a.m., now it's already 1.30. Yeah, game always flies quickly. Oh, hey, it's a graveyard. That's, uh, that's nice. I already tried grave robbing last time. Doesn't work. Now, where's uh, Fabio? Uh, uh, uh. Fabio, where are you? Fabio? You'll see. If I ever find him. It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. I have an axe! Oh, hello, random chicken that does nothing yet. Can you ax it a question? I thought you were one that hated puns. 
Yeah, I I'm seriously contemplating just mashing my head in with toilet paper. I hope it's two ply. No, it's just one ply. You think you think they spring for two ply here at college? Well, yeah, I went to a college where you you can actually buy stuff yourself, so yeah. Hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. I'm Indiana Jones. Hi, Gunta. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts to display. How the fuck did you let that happen? But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or mineral out there, would you let me know? Oh, it's so just like an Animal Crossing. Can I at least be the mayor of this town? No? What if I kill Lewis? <laughs> Your I mean, I had to do that fine. already, but... Yep, this is where all the exhibits were. How the fuck did he get away with that? Maybe he was Santa Claus with his magic sack. Alright, let's do some more exploring. It's only 3.10pm. So can you get drunk in this game? I don't know. I haven't been to Saloon yet. I've only played for like uh, three days previously. Three days in-game, I assume. Yeah. I think I've only had the game for like one. And the Future Mart. Uh, yeah, according to this, prior, I only played for 54 minutes. So white, so sterile. You are one creepy motherfucker. Hi there. Welcome to Georgia Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Georgia Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Georgia member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Have you been helped? Oh look, someone that's hopefully not a slave to Joja. Hi there. Hey kid, name's Pam. I will never look at you again. Hey, they're having a sale on bricks. Oh hello, who are you? Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. I am quite taller than you. Actually, I'll character going to be pretty short. I mean, I already talked to you. Hey, you. Have I talked to you yet? Get back here. I have to ask you a question. No, yeah, you're Penny. Uh, oh, did you want something? I want to ask you, Flourishai. Who are you? Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Nope. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Uh, hold on, where's the, uh... Let's see, who haven't I met yet? I've met that kid, I've met Fabio this time around. I've met the weird Demex looking guy. Still quite a few people I need to meet. And some people I can't meet today. Why not? Because they don't actually show up to like... What? Is that a wizard there? Oh yeah, there's a wizard tower around here. Oh my god, that's fucking awesome. I actually think the wizard's tower is uh, just south of your house. I'm still in your weeds, by the way. You know, considering they're weeds? Hello? Anyone home? No? Alright. Yeah, I'm just breaking into your home. Don't worry. Hey, look, kid. Get back here. Hey, let's take it back here. I want to cite you a question. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. You want to give me candy? Yes, yeah, trust the crazy axe wielding, I mean, scythe wielding man that just walked to your house. Chasey, what's that scythe? Okay, bye. <laughs> Who are you? Hey, get back here. Hey. Yeah, you're right. Oh. You're that new farmer boy, aren't you? And you're a blonde. What, that's it? That's all she has to say? <laughs> that's why I said the obvious. Let's see, where am I? Ooh, cows! Eat them. Eat the cows. Oh, I guess it's another farm. Hey, I'm just gonna steal some of your crops, okay? Oh, what's this little thing? Ellipsis. Hi. Ellipsis. I'm gonna call her Squall. 
Who are you? Oh, it's you again. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. But aren't I already here? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to remember. What's the uh, map button? P? M? Yeah, M. Yeah, Wizard Star's over here. Let's go take a visit. I'm coming so, for you, can you Wizard. Go to the Wizard's Tower? What? Can you go there? Yep, I'm on my way there now. Yay, Wizardry! Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Maybe I can find a uh, Fumblemore. Maybe you can find a what? Fumblemore. A Tumbledore? Fumblemore. Alright, you don't watch Elk's Cast. Nah. Carrot for Conk. Gandalf, I'm here. Let me in. It's locked. You can hear someone inside, though. Oh, if only I had, like, an axe or something. <laughs> or you could just knock with your hand. You know, nah, like... the axe is more effective. Okay, that was pointless. It's already 7.20 p.m. Wow, time sure does fly. Wait, what time is it in real life? Uh, I think we've been at this for, like, 20 minutes, half an hour. Uh, no, yeah, because the alarm would have gone off. Yeah. Because I had it set for 20 minutes. I did turn it on, how, right? I'm just going by how long the Skype's called in on for. Well, that started back when the your thing. Well, we have about 20 seconds left. Let's see if I get back to the house. Yeah. Get back to the house. You can go to bed, and that'll be a good spot to end the episode. Yep. Each episode is one day, because, perfectly honest, who cares if I do more than one step in one day? Wait, where am I? Oh, wait, spawn part of my farm. Yeah, you can crash him. It's a completely wrong tool for something. Nah. I'm bad at everything, dog. I need to get those songs back, bud. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh, crap. Happy Christmas. Wait, where am I? I am... I should be close to my house. I think I just passed my house. Hurry, before the monsters come out. No, they don't come out until I actually go to the dungeon. Lame. Yeah, here's they my house. Out. I better stop this, because I have no idea if this song is copyrighted or not. <laughs> well, probably not, because it was made yeah. by Toby Fox. And, and if it is, like... The kind of people who'd claim copyright infringement, I, d I doubt they'd do it. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, that'd be the first episode of Stardew Valley. Bye. Bye.